Hello, this is RSTKY, the Android guy. Hey guys, so today I'm bringing you the benchmark test on the S4 Active. Uh, so for this device, it should be the same as the S4, but we're going to see how it scores uh, comparable to it. Um, it does have the same uh, Snapdragon S600 um, 1.9 uh, graphics card, or in this case 1.89 as it says on here and does have the Adreno 320 graphics card, uh, so pretty uh, up to date for today's standards. In terms of the built-in system, it does have 11.43 uh, uh, internal storage. Um, I've used a little bit of it, so it is uh, remaining 9.07 uh, 9 gigs. Um, in terms of RAM, it does have two gigs of RAM, uh, which uh, right now with the system itself, it's using about 50% of it. And the battery is uh, discharging as we see, um, and it's at a good uh, level at the time. And sensors, uh, to say the least, it has a lot, uh, just like the sensors uh, for the S4. It does have the most sensors out of any device. So. Let's check it out in terms of how it does against benchmarks. Let's close up everything and let's check it out. So first we're going to do the Intuitu benchmark, benchmark test and see how it compares. And let's just start test and see how it runs. Now again, in terms of hardware um, that we judge our benchmarks on, it should technically give us the same results as the S4. Um, it does have the same 2 gigs RAM, same processor, same 1080p screen, however it is LCD instead of LED, but that should not affect uh, the benchmark test, um, or rather it shouldn't affect it dramatically. The 1080p part should be more of uh, the cause for the difference in levels we would get for the test. And it's going through the CPU part fairly quickly for um, most devices, which is to be expected. And now let's see how this part works down here. Frames per second seem to be going fairly quickly. All right, now we're done with this one. So it scored at 18.925, and everything seems to be pretty good um, in terms of how it scored. And now let's check out the charts and see where it's comparable to. So um, this is a relatively lower score, scoring between more of the Sony uh, Xperia Z and the Nexus 4 
not really comparing to the typical S4 score uh, or the even the HTC One, which has a lower version of this processor. So interesting on that, um, it didn't score as high as we normally would like it to. So um, actually, you know, one thing I will do, of course we already did do that one, but so to see if it won't affect the uh, processing power, I do have a live wallpaper on, which might be taking a bit of the CPU, so I will change it to a standard one uh, for the quadrant test to see if that uh, lines it up better. So uh, we'll see on that. And check to see if this is more on par for the regular uh, test we should expect, because that's a very low score in comparison. Um, an error occurred, let's try that again. An error occurred again, interesting. Um, let me make sure, I'm gonna close both apps. I saw Google Play was running in the background. And let's see if that'll fix it. Yep, okay, seem to fix whatever problem Quadrant was having. And see how the frames per second are going on this one. So that one made a huge, uh, huge uh, difference in comparison. So that one uh, was about double the one X, which is good indicator, but unfortunately it doesn't show us um, how it compared to other devices that are higher than it. Uh, but that was um, the score, so it was 10,000, so it was uh, well above the One X, but not above the HC One. Uh, we're not sure how it compares the S4 and the One. All right, guys, so that was that, and now let's go do the 3D Mark test and see how it fared. Now, again, I cannot run the 3D Mark test simply because it gets flagged down, but I did uh, run two tests to kind of get the results of where we were. So this scored an 11, uh, 262 on my test, uh, which is uh, far and above uh, the typical average for the S4, as well as uh, the HTC One. So the graphics wise, it did uh, fairly good um, for this test. I did run it twice um, to kind of see where the results may lie. And uh, this again did run uh, definitely good. Uh, more like the uh, S4 on the S4 with the higher graphics card. So it didn't run fairly good for that one. And then for the extreme test, which is much more stressful, it scored a 6708, which typically devices uh, will score around a 6566. Um, so for it to score that high, uh, very good. So in terms of graphics, this one did a really good job. Uh, let me switch to the extreme just to kind of give an idea of the higher ones. So it scored a 6.7 again, so which is a little bit higher but not too much higher from where the average is. So uh, scoring uh, fairly well though. Alright guys, so um, if you have any questions on uh, the benchmark test or the S4 Active itself, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.